<laughs> we can do all the things. I'm gonna oh, love this. I'm gonna, gonna love, love this chair. chair. You're gonna yeah. love that one. That one. What's the history to get you to this point where now you're you're heading this principals in residence program? So I did, after a while I became executive director, we grew from just five through eight to K through eight. Um, and then our middle school was struggling, our flagship school, and we needed to do something to make sure that we could get it back on track. Um, Promises to kids are sacred. We have made promises to families and to kids that we'll make sure they got the best education possible. So I went back into the schools and I became a principal again. Um, rebuilt the school, COVID hit. <laughs> then it derailed a couple of things, but the school stayed on an upward trajectory. Um, and what I realized that I had done well that time that I had not done in previous years when I was executive director was I had set that person up for success to take over the school and carry it on and not just maintain but make it better. Um, and so I wanted to replicate that. Um, and make sure that whoever got into the seat of a principal, I can't say I was completely prepared, right? It was a little trial by fire, that that didn't have to be the story for every single person that became a principal in Kent, North Carolina. This year, the PIR program is project-based. So the first project is actually built around what we have in Kip North Carolina, we call our Arcs of the Year, and it's called Strong Start. It's all about ensuring that teachers have the basic teaching skills to have a strong classroom and a strong classroom culture. But kids won't learn if teachers can't teach, and teachers can't teach if someone can't teach them how to. And so when I think at, of leadership training, it is one of the biggest investments we can make into a school for our students because if teachers are coming straight out of college, they're a clean slate anyway. What they need to learn how to do is teach. Um, and so I think that is one of the biggest investments uh, that a lot of organizations and schools can make is to invest in leadership training. How long is the program and why is it designed to be that long? Um, it's a two year program. Um, the first year is, so I will say this. In order to, there is a rigorous interview process to get into the program. Um, and so we're looking at this program to be for more seasoned APs um, or assistant principals who have been in the role for a while and are looking to grow into the next level. In order to do that, we also had to figure out what a development looked like for beginning APs so that they could make it into, uh, that there was a clear path into the PIR program. Um, and so the first year is all about refining basic leadership skills and making sure that from time management, from instructional moves uh, to content knowledge um, are things that there's a strong base for with that PIR um, because we know that those things are really important in order to build successful schools. Um, and that's our goal, to have the best schools in North Carolina and eventually everywhere else. Um, and so it starts there and then you are given feedback by your mentor principal um, you're graded. It's almost like being in school. Um, you're graded and then quarterly you have a check-in for you to discuss. Um, it's really for the PR to discuss what they're learning in the program and where they feel like they are. Um, and so we do that and after that um, they make it through the first year and then the second year's focus is really on we loop back and refine some of those skills. Um, and then after that, a lot of it is the preparation to take over a school or to open um, a school that does not exist yet. John, you have been supporting KIPP in North Carolina for years. What part of this got you most excited about saying, this is actually where I want to invest. This is where I want to put my resources. Everything Tiffany has talked about, I mean, is whether you're talking about a school, government, church, business, like leaders are going to have different skill sets, they're going to have different avocations, callings, but they need the set of skills. To bring 
a prescribed program together to help train the principals that are leaders of the schools and the assistant principals under them and the directors under them. To me, it was a concrete path to, to make KIPP better. And again, the goal is to change public education in North Carolina. KIPP's gonna raise the bar.